Hello, in this video I'm just going to show you how to do some animation for rigged uh, props that don't have animation uh, on them already and you can actually animate in Unity so I'm going to go to Package Manager, download uh, the asset that we're talking about so I'm going to go to My Assets and find a tactical, a tactical glove Okay, I'm just going to uh, re-download it just to make sure I'll get any any newer versions there might be and then import and just click import <clears throat> right so once you've got this added uh, just maybe open the scene or whatever you want okay and I'm just going to turn down the gizmos and you can choose any one of the props Right, I'm going to choose the right hand here. Right, because it's in the scene, if we go to Window Animation, I'm just going to dock this down here. It will let us create a new animation clip. So I'm just going to do that, and let's just make a new folder. And just call this Test One. Okay, so we've got our thing there. I'm just going to add a property and we can choose anything like the bones and uh, anything to do with that. So we've got the bones here. I'm going to, let's see, take the index finger, uh, these ones, and just add some frames. So you've got the transform, right? Open it up and let's say I want to play with their um, rotation oh, okay, or position. Now this might be a little bit cumbersome so I'm just going to remove that. So I've got the hand here, the actual rotation right so I can move to a different keyframe and move the object and it doesn't keyframe automatically, right? So to make it do that, uh, I'll just add a keyframe like this. Okay, but if I've got record on, if I go to a frame and make a change, you can see how that works. Right, so that's actually the bone. Uh, the bone, the hand uh, bone that's rotating. So I can add, let's see another one. Uh, let's do the index rotation and add. Let's go here and make sure I've just click on that. And also make sure I'm on like the pivot and also local, right? That way it's going to rotate down the right way. And you can see now finger goes up and I can make the finger go down and back up like that. I'm just going to take away the rotation uh, keyframes because they're a bit distracting. Right, so I'm just having the finger just move like this. So you build up your animations this way. Right, it might be a little bit clumsy to animate this way. Right, we can also go through the hierarchy this way, right? Go to the the frame and just simply rotate and it'll automatically add uh, everything we need. We don't have to add it here all the time. Right, so I can go ahead and make some changes here. Right, and then I can go down a bone and rotate this one. Right, so if he's pulling a grenade. And then all the other bones, I can actually choose them so all together and on the first frame just like rotate them down and then open these up if I choose their child bones rotate them down right and that's the frame for them and that's it I've got it kind of doing some kind of animation And yeah, that's really it. Um, you can 
know, select keys and uh, move them and things and change their, their curves. Now it's probably better that you animate in Blender or something. The only tricky thing is that the bones are different for left and right. This is it's, uh, it's one way you can get around it is to just duplicate the mesh, uh, duplicate the prefab there. Oops. Uh, I think something broke when I did that. There we go. Um, so I just duplicate this. Right. I'm just going to move it to the side and do uh, minus one on X. It will give me the opposite, but still use the animations all the same. Right. So that's one way to get uh, a transfer, but sometimes you might need it not to be a negative scale. So you might have to animate the left hand the same as the way you've animated the right hand. You can try and copy and paste keys uh, with rotation values, but I, I'm not predicting it will be too easy. Um, but that's how you make animations for stuff that's not animated. So now I'd like to get that clip. Uh, it will be an animation and there it is there. Right, so I could apply this animation. In fact, it will be the animation controller. If I choose this one, I drag the animation controller in. You can see you can change these ones. Right. Let's try it with this. I don't think it will work the same way. Right. It doesn't like these bone names, so it doesn't know. You could try reassign. Maybe. Uh, hmm. It's not so easy. Like, so if we took that and replaced it there, yeah, it doesn't let us do it. So yeah, that's the only thing with that. Uh, but I hope this helps. Thanks for watching. Bye.